Hey, how's it going, guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm actually going to be covering three things you might have missed from the first person trailer that was announced by Rockstar yesterday for GTA 5 on the PS4 and Xbox One. So the first person trailer was absolutely nuts. It gave us a ton of new information, obviously details about the FPS mode and some of the controls and different variations of the game. But there's three things in particular a lot of you guys might miss, and I'm here to kind of break it down and talk to you. So the first thing right out of the gate is a new mini map. Now, I don't know the exact enhancements of it, but it's certainly different than the one we have right now on the Xbox 360 and PS3 version of the game. It seems like it tilts a little bit more and moves with you and isn't necessarily so flat and one dimensional. I think that would be awesome to have more of like a 3D style map that told you a, either A, when you're going up a mountain or B, going down an elevation, because right now the map in Grand Theft Auto 5 is good, but it's not great. It, it definitely could have some improvements and it looks like Rockstar has certainly addressed that in this first person trailer because we can see a new style mini map. Again, we don't know what differences there actually are, but it looks like Rockstar has definitely taken the time to upgrade this and definitely do some much needed enhancements on it. Now, the second thing in our list is a more advanced weapon wheel now i'll freeze it right here this is the weapon wheel when it's pulled up and i don't know if there's any particular differences from this point of view you guys might be able to find something but the thing i noticed was franklin was seamlessly able to throw a grenade without having to select the grenade button or the grenade tab on his weapon wheel so he was able to have his assault rifle out and he's managed to just like toss a grenade he wasn't able to aim it but he just tossed it and that you know seamless transition between you know weapons that you don't actually have to hold and being able able to still have a gun in your hand is pretty amazing I'm not gonna lie that's one of the coolest things I got from that trailer the fact that you can seamlessly go from firing to you know pulling the pin on a grenade and throwing it at a car or a barrel or a group of enemies that is something that is pretty cool so that's one of another great feature that I think Rockstar uh, definitely listened to the community and maybe just trying to make the weapon wheel is great in Grand Theft Auto 5 but again having to select a grenade or a sticky bomb while you're holding a gun it really puts you at a disadvantage so I'm glad that they were able to address that and hopefully made those necessary changes. Now, something that wasn't necessarily in the trailer, but was an article on Gizmodo, another website that it was able to get their hands on the game. They essentially said that the PS4 controller is going to become very active in your day-to-day -day GTA 5 activities. And what do they mean by that? Well, you'll be able to hear and receive phone calls via the speaker in the DualShock 4 controller. Also, during a police chase, the DualShock light is going to flash blue and red to indicate that you are under police fire and have wanted stars. And the interactive menu is going to be used via the play PlayStation's touchpad so you can seamlessly keep your gameplay going on the screen while making changes to your character via your controller. So some really cool controls right there. Again, that wasn't part of the trailer, but still awesome things that you might have missed if you didn't look into that article. And the final thing we're going to look at from the trailer is the fact that the radio display actually works as well as some of the gauges inside. Now we figured this from the very first trailer, but we didn't get to look at the radio itself and you can see that in Michael's car it actually says radio off. And in Franklin's car, which I'll have a screenshot of it right now, it actually says West Coast Classics. So that's really cool. It's going to change based on what radio station you're listening to, which again, is just a tiny little detail, but it makes oh so much of a difference. And Rockstar's just done an unbelievable job to bring us this great content. And they've really mastered the next generation release of this game. And I am absolutely excited to get my hands on it. So let me know what you guys think of all the things we talked about in today's trailer. What thing caught you by the most surprise and other things I might have missed? Leave them in the comment section down below. I definitely want to hear from you guys be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and of course subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new or you like daily grand theft auto 5 videos like this without the way guys like i said thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video